meeting is now called to order. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. based on presentation skills. At the end of the year, the points are tallied and the side with the most points is presented with the prized Chamberlain Cup. I wish everyone good luck. I would now like to introduce the officers of the Literary Societies. Please hold your applause until they have all been introduced. Beginning with the leaders of the Chamberlain Reds, President Dougie Boardman, Vice President Lee Adamson, and Secretary Winston Morris. The leaders of the Chamberlain Grays are President Wally Jones, Vice President Tate Wilson, and Secretary Pattison Branch. Congratulations. <laughs> to show support and avoid distraction, we ask that parents remain for the entire program. Thank you. The fourth Literary Society meeting of the year was held on Friday, November 10th. The points were taken as follows. The Chamberlain Reds took the point in Mrs. Mark's first grade class, Mrs. Burland's second grade class, and Mrs. Carlson's fourth grade class. The Chamberlain Grays took the point in Mrs. Pava's third grade class and Mrs. Gordon's fifth grade class, making the score for the day Chamberlain Reds 3 and Chamberlain Grays 2. And the score for the year, Chamberlain Reds 10 and Chamberlain Grays 12. Are there any corrections or additions? Are the minutes approved? Approved. The boys in Mrs. Campos' kindergarten class will declaim a poem entitled, When I Grow Up, written by Jack Krolutsky. Will the boys please come forward now? <coughs>
Ms. and Mrs. Smart's second grade class will declaim two poems, Dreams and April <coughs> Rain Song, both written by Langston Hughes. Will the boys please come forward now? The boys and Mrs. Brown's third grade class will declaim a portion of Patrick Henry's address at St. John's Church in Richmond, Virginia on March 23, 1778. Will the boys please come forward now? Yeah. 
The boys in Miss Grimes' fourth grade class will declaim an excerpt from The Sneetches, written by Dr. Seuss. Will the boys please come forward now? Parsley's fifth grade class will declaim a poem entitled Drop a Pebble in the Water, written by James Foley. Will the boys please come forward now? Just a 
flashing, it is gone. But there's half a hundred ripples circling on and on and on. Spreading, spreading from the center, flowing on out to the sea. And there's no way of telling where the end is going to be. Pop a pebble in the water, in a minute you forget. But there's little ways of flowing, and there's ripples circling yet. And there's little ways of flowing to a great big wave of grown. You disturb the mighty river just by dropping in a stone. Drop an unkind word or careless, in a minute it is gone. But there's half a hundred ripples circling on and on and on. They keep spreading, spreading, spreading from the center as they go. And there's no way of stopping the which is going to flow. Drop an unkind word or careless, in a minute you forget. But there's little ways of flowing, and there's ripples circling yet. And perhaps in some sad heart, a mighty wave that gives you stir. And disturb the life was happy, and you drop that unkind word. Drop a word of cheer and kindness, just a flash and it is gone. But there's half a hundred ripples circling on and on and on. Bearing hope and joy and comfort on each flashing, dashing wave. Till you wouldn't believe the volume of that one kind word you gave. Drop a word of cheer and kindness in a minute you forget. But there's gladness still a swelling and there's joy a circling yet. And you rode a wave of comfort whose sweet music can be heard over miles and miles of water just by dropping one kind word. Just like pebbles in the water, we want to drop happiness, courage, cooperation, kindness, laughter, cheer, honesty, optimism, an attitude of gratitude, character, belief, positivity, love, peace.